All right, everybody, it's Secret Santa time over at the uh, YouTube Machinist Group. Uh, I'd like to thank John Creasy for putting that on. And also, I'd like to thank Dave over at DNG Tools. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. Anyway, check him out over on uh, eBay, and I believe he's got a website also. Anyway, what he sent me was uh, some diamond burrs. It's one of the things, he's got a couple of those. Cylinder shaped one. This will be very handy for uh, you know, grinding, flashing, and stuff off of uh, you know castings and things like that. So he said he did some uh, internet snooping to find out about me, <laughs> so he know what to send. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, the other thing he sent me was this, and when I got it, I knew I'd seen it before. I couldn't remember what it was, <laughs> so I had to look it up. Anyway, these are brown and sharp number 758s, and they're toolmaker's buttons. So you would place this onto a part, and you can use gauge blocks and stuff to line this pin up. It's very accurate, and it's lapped to a very precise cylinder, so that you can uh, indicate parts on like a lathe or a mill or something like that, and know exactly where you are from an edge. Anyway, uh, this is probably something that doesn't get used too much anymore these days. Nowadays, you've got, you know, digital readouts and things like that which will probably help get you there too uh, but this is the way we used to do it back in the old days right back when my great great grandfather was working on stuff right <laughs> <clears throat> I uh, I gotta make a bit of an admission here I am a terrible secret Santa I still haven't found something to send to my uh, recipient yet so it's probably not gonna make it. Today is, it's about to be the 17th here in a few hours. That doesn't leave me very much time, so I gotta find something. But uh, I actually kinda already have a couple ideas, so I'm gonna try to get something packed up and send it off here real quick. 